say a word of prayer for our men and women who put their life on the line to get into this water. Hamwezi kujua yale maji kuna nini? I asked a question, my friend, if you want to know how hard it is to dive under this water, go and try and dive in just five meter. Swimming pool is in Dogondogo, is in Kwanga, two meters. Go and try and end up with Chukechine five meters. So, to Elewe, the terrain, um, the tide, they are going for a recovery mission. And they have succeeded. Sisi tunapenda sana kuongea. Mini meona social media. Vile meongea. Every Kenyan, all of a sudden, became an expert on matters diving. My friend, this is very serious business. I'm not here to defend anybody, but I have been involved fully. And I've been getting full information of what has been happening down here. From the time the first diver went into the water. So mine is really to pray for our young men and women multi-agencies and all su support that we got from if different agencies around us in the country and outside the country. And to say that it is only Wakati Washida we are able to display how united as a people we are. So sitaki kusema sana niseme tu tubebane na tuwashukuru wale watu ambayo meingia majini. My brother Gituma here, I think he was opening a military base was always here. The chairman, Dan Mwazo, he never left this place. I knew, I knew him as a little bit of lighter complexion. All of a sudden, he has a turn. This is a sacrifice, and by what we and others, you know. So please, ma yangu ni kuombea tu, wana maji wetu, na ni wapatia mungu wapatia nguvu, na wale wote ambao meshirikiana now, the other private companies that are here, I saw when people saw Seco equipment, they say it's a foreign company, Seco is very local, and in fact it's a Mombasa-based company, uh, who has also come in to support, and many other critical players that have. It's a lesson learned for us going into the future, but I must say, to me succeed. And finally, ajali ni ajali. Na mtu moja ama kiumbe yoyote hawezi kujua ajali na inakuja kwanjia gani. You know, Mwenyezi Mungu alikuwa amepanga hiyo ajali itokee namna hiyo. And we don't want to go into the detail of how it happened and why it happened. It is an accident. Accident cannot be defined kwa njia ingine yoyote isipokuwa ni ajali. Nobody wants anybody to go through this. It is not like somebody went and pushed the car to go down into the water. We don't want. And I am sure if there are people that were able to even jump immediately, they would have. It's been there. It's happened before. What wa mengukiwa hapo na watu wa meruka. So please, tushukuru kwa kazi ili ambaye mefanya na tutakie ndugi zetu mema, mungu wa walipe mema. So may I now ask uh, the area MP to start, then the senator, very brief remarks, very, very brief remarks to, and also my deputy is here, mumjue. Dr. King. Habari zenu. Uh, kwanza ni kutoa shukrani za dhati kwa kila ambaye aliweza kuhusika. Um, na kilio tu kwa wakenya wenzetu. Uh, huu ni wakati mgumu kwa wale ambao kwamba wameweza kufiliwa. Ni wakati mgumu um, kwa sababu si rahisi kwa muda wote huu kutojua hatma ya ule ambaye kwamba mulikuwa mnatafuta mwili wake. Kwa hivyo uh, kama gavana alivyoweza kuzungumza yale matamsha ambayo kwamba atakuwa ni yenye kuzungumzwa katika vyombo vya habari vya kijamii tuwe na, na nidhamu ya jinsi ambayo kwamba tutakao tukiweza kufanya na hata hii media mainstream media pia tutawaomba wapatie nafasi familia na kuweza kuwashukuru wote ambao kwamba waloweza kuhusika na um, kuanzia navy uh, mashirika ambayo kwamba ni hapa hapa Kenya serikali ya county ya Mombasa na um, serikali kuu um, uh, ile effect ya watu kuweza kufanya kazi pamoja ndio imeweza kuleta natija bora na um, nakubaliana na maneno ya gavana wangu ya kuwa ajali ni ajali lakini kama nilivyoweza kuzungumza katika bunge your excellency na naona mimi ni sawa tu peke yake ya kwa ile ripoti ambayo kwamba tutakaweza kuipeleka katika bunge 
ya kuaikiwa vyombo vyetu havina hali ya usalama basi ni lazima hatuwezi kuwa tuna, tunaungana wakati wa huzuni peke yake lakini hatujifunzi ni lazima ikiwa kuna jambo lolote ambalo kwamba lilikuwa liweze kutekelezwa na halikutekelezwa yule ambaye hakutekeleza amri amri ile ambayo kwamba anafaa awezi ku be held responsible isiwe kila siku tunakaa na tunaomboleza kwa sababu ya jambo limetokea limetokea ni ajali kweli lakini hata mbele ya Mungu ile ajali ile litufunza kitu gani sisi ya kuwa kesho tutaanza tena kuwa ni tunalia ama tutakuwa ni wenye kuhakikisha kwa ajali kama ile isiwezi kutendeka tena ile na mifano mingine kama yale kwa hivyo uh, sheria ya bunge iniruhusu kuyazungumza lakini ripoti tukiweza kuipeleka katika bunge na nina imani ya kwa wajumbe wataweza kukubaliana mimi asanteni sana